And welcome to the new series of River Bungalow. This week we'll be concentrating on Chutney Ferrets. After my first year at River Bungalow, I've had some successful times in this year's horticultural show, but also some terrible times. I know this guy go wrong when Holmes, I met him in the horticultural show. We had ten beds of entry fee and none the ends as big as guy go wrong when Holmes, I met him in the horticultural show. We had ten beds of entry fee and none the ends as big as this guy go wrong when Holmes, I met him in the horticultural show. We had ten beds of My marrow chutney will consist of brown sugar, three pound of marrows, chopped onions, sliced tomatoes, raisins, malt vinegar and a mixture of spices. Three pounds of marrows, pound of chopped tomatoes, make sure they're peeled, a pound of onions chopped, Just put in half a pint of vinegar. What we'll do now, put it on a slow heat for about five minutes. We're going to add these raisins and let it simmer until the marrow is slightly pulpy. Put the lid on and off to go. Let me tell you about the spices we're going to put in this in the next five minutes. Two tablespoons of ground black pepper. 2 tablespoons of ground ginger, 2 tablespoons of normal salt, and also 2 tablespoons of mixed spice. Now it's hot and the marrow is pulpy, what we're going to do is add all the allspice. Get the spice, gently stir in, just slightly sprinkling, just keep stirring, sprinkling. Let's mix this in now, and what we're going to do is leave this for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of that cooking, we'll now add the sugar and vinegar. Brown sugar goes in, gently. Also, the other half a pint of this vinegar goes in. Douse it around the sugar. What we'll do then is let these dissolve, stir it in as much as we can. And then we'll wait until the consistency becomes more viscous. So a couple of things you need to think about when you're jarring this chutney. A couple of things. The first thing, this jar has to be sterile. If not, you get awful smells and awful tastes. But also, you have to look at the lid. Make sure it's a sealable lid. You know, don't, don't, don't just put a plastic lid on, because obviously it'll melt. Now it's time to put the chutney in. It's easier to transfer it into a smaller jug. All we'll do now is just pour it into the jug. Don't worry about it going over the sides, we can easily wipe that afterwards. Make sure it fills all the gaps, as you can see. Let it settle to the bottom. A jar of marrow chutney. And remember, a good cook always cleans up. Tarano.